My name is Paul Morgan from uh, Austin, Texas. I uh, flew out here today, very hopeful for this stem cell therapy. I uh, discovered as a 44-year-old, ended up uh, rupturing one of the discs in my lower back, L4. Uh, been quite painful, as you can imagine. Um, so I've been living with that for about three months now. I've gone through physical therapy, several doctors, some specialists. Uh, really got down to, for me, what became either uh, live with it, which as a 44-year-old man telling my kids, I can't pick you up, daddy, you know, be careful with daddy, that's not going to, that's not going to last for me, right? Um, either live with that or, you know, get a spinal fusion, which, you know, mathematically speaking, five to eight years later, I'm likely going to get another one and then another one. And by the time I'm 60, I've got half a dozen of them locked up. So that's not a real practical solution either. So started researching some alternatives. I have a really good friend of mine who's done a similar therapy. I actually had a worse condition. It was a decade old, had ruptured the disc in five separate places due to a weightlifting accident. So went out and had dinner with him. Uh, he had a very similar therapy done with stem cell injections, completely healed the disc uh, with no residual side effects, no residual problems. So, um, of course, that's something I would very much like to entertain um, before, you know, engaging in something like a, a surgery that is kind of no going back for. So. And boys are like wrestling and playing and pushing and pulling yes. and uh, jumping, and, right? It's always been a joke with my wife and I that uh, every game that we've ever played has been some version of what I call hurt daddy because <laughs> it's always rough and tumble and they're boys. Right. Um, and, and I enjoy that and, and I haven't had it for three months and I'm really looking forward to doing them up and throwing them on the couch again, which I have not done for three months. Good. For this, I'm very happy to report that I've had a great deal of success with my recovery. I actually went the first month after my procedure, I really took it easy, I stopped any kind of anti-inflammatories like Advil and whatnot. Uh, the second month after the injection, I did some very light duty back at the gym. I was happy to get back to it. I was machines. Third month, I actually started weight bearing exercises, which I've managed to continue to do. Uh, so that was back in uh, December, a little bit earlier this year, last year. I uh, was able to take two 60 pound dumbbells and do squats with uh, a 60 pound in each hand, whereas before my procedure, I was not even able to lift my eight pound briefcase. Uh, so I have managed to resume uh, work, normal recreational activities, oh, so uh, walking, going back to the gym, uh, pretty much life has resumed yeah. normal. Whereas according to my uh, orthopedic surgeon, uh, really surgery was my only option. So I'm very, very pleased to report. I've had a tremendous amount of success. Now five months later, I really don't have residual issues. Uh, it's largely like it never happened. I'm not taking any anti-inflammatories, any pain meds, it's largely like it didn't happen. Uh, I am very pleased to also mention that one of my primary objectives um, was actually be able to uh, pick up my kids again. Here, what? Which I'm very pleased to say, I am now able to oh, grab him, oh, lift him up off the ground, uh, just like nothing ever happened. <laughs> Next, uh, I can say from my part, everything was very, very successful from having a disc that was entirely ruptured and completely spilled out. Uh, to what I now believe has been a completely healed and restored disc back to weight bearing with no restrictions and no medication. Uh, I really could not be happier with the results I've received. Uh, if you are considering maybe a stem cell injection, or at least you know, looking into it as a viable option, for what it's worth, I would strongly recommend it.